CataractCoach.com. Mastering Stop and Chop. Hey, it's January. Time to get your skills up to speed. Now, Stop and Chop, you know, is a technique where a single groove is created down the middle of the nucleus. It is then split into two halves using a cracking technique, and then each half is further sub-chopped. So there's Divide and Conquer, which is making all four quadrants with just the uh, grooving and sculpting method and then cracking. And then there's Chop, of course, which is just no grooving or sculpting, just immediately chopping into quadrants. And then this is a mix of the two, Stop and Chop. So it means you do that groove down the middle, you crack it in two halves, then you stop and switch over to the chop settings. And then you do chop for these second uh, pieces to be removed. So now going inside here, cleaning up some of the anterior cortical material. And a key here, obviously, is getting a good rex done and good, getting good hydrodissection. Here comes the groove. Like in Divide and Conquer, remember this groove should be the whole length of the nucleus. As well, it should be deeper in the center and then a little shallow in the periphery. Remember, the lens is shaped, the category is shaped like an M&M candy. So right in the center, it's thicker, and towards the periphery, it becomes thinner. So yeah, I like this idea here of a little bit extra grooving there in the very center, the very deep part. That looks great. Now, you don't have to go all the way through. You don't have to have 90% depth of the groove. You can have just a little bit more than half, and that should be enough to split it. So now, after the groove is made, chopper is going in here as well as the probe, and then just spreading apart. This is cracking into two halves, and then propagating that crack all the way through. Important to get it through all the way. Now switch over your setting on the FACO machine to a chop setting, so higher vacuum now, maybe a little higher flow. So buzz into the piece, and then you can get a hold of it, and then chop it. Very nicely done. And by doing the stop and chop here, you can see with the groove created, there's like a nice wall on that hemonuclear piece where you can easily embed the FACO tip. So look where the fingertips embedded. Again, in that wall, going in, high vacuum. When you hear that vacuum, retract your foot off the, the energy and do just vacuum only, and then it's chopped, and then the piece can be emulsified. So think about it. What settings do you want for the groove? For the grooving, you need some power, depending on the density of the nucleus. Let's say 20% on up. You need low flow, maybe 15 to 20 cc's a minute. You need relatively low vacuum. just have to aspirate out the piece that you're grooving. And so maybe the vacuum of 200 or less millimeters of mercury. Now for the removal of the quadrants and then the chopping, what do you need? For the chopping, you need that holding power. So fake apart probably around the same, but the holding power, you need to have the vacuum up. So make sure that vacuum is at least three, 400 millimeters of mercury, maybe more, depending on your, your settings. And then you can increase the flow rate to 25, 30, even more cc's per minute in order to have the pieces flow into the tip like they're doing here. So this surgeon does a very beautiful job of a stop and chop technique, so we're showing it here. You know, it is January. If in, you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we started to do academic years from July 1 until June 30th, so we're halfway through the academic year. Oftentimes in the Southern Hemisphere, the academic year correlates with the calendar year, so January may be the very beginning. But in either case, the issue we have here is you may need to make sure your skills are up to speed. So definitely got to master all this. You need to master divide and conquer. You need to master stop and chop. You need to master tilt and tumble. We featured all these videos this week. You also need to master fake chop, and we'll get into that again shortly. So again, here at the end, nucleus is out. We can speed up the rest of the case to get through it and just show you the end. Looks beautiful. Good cortex removal and good looking rexus. Hey, I'll tell you about cataractcoach.com, the website. Free PDF book you can download and share with your friends to learn cataract surgery. There's absolutely free 25-part curriculum series. I got a free daily email. We've got all over social media. And, of course, the amazing Cataract Coach podcast. Check it out. That podcast, by the way, is a new episode every single week, and it is growing fast. Incredible podcast. We give you an hour discussion with an incredible surgeon, and you can learn so much. Here you go. End of the case. I like that hydro implantation that was done, so no need for more viscoelastic. That looks fantastic. Sealing up the incisions, and call us a day. Hey, beautiful job with Stop and Chop.